I think we all could agree that a simple charging block is a terribly boring way to charge your cell phone. So just get rid of it and build something cool with an Arduino. That's what I did. And it turned out to be one of my favorite projects for our apartment. The plan was to have the phone plug into a dock which was connected to a brain computational system that could turn on an Edison light bulb when it was charging. Then when it was finished charging, it would turn it off. This is what I came up with. It included an Arduino powered brain system, some Edison bulbs, and the charging dock. The charging dock was made from some iron pipes and the lightning cables were JB welded into it. One of the lights was made using a socket and some more pipes. The other light utilized a track light bracket and I turned it upside down and put the bulb into that. The Arduino brain of the system was to be housed inside these conduit boxes. Before we get into how all this stuff fits in the box, we have to look at wiring. This is the wiring diagram I came up with. Getting into this in this video is too much, so go to my Instructables page. I'll explain it much better there. We used an Arduino, Uno, as well as a DC current sensor, a solid state relay, two USB cables, one foot long and a short six inch cable, as well as a four port USB charger, and two four x four inch conduit boxes. I cut holes in these for ventilation, as well as for mounting the USB cables. I also cut the ends of the boxes so that they fit together nicely, and then attach them to a block of wood. I like to use these electric box spacers to hold the electronics off of what they're mounted to. First, I have put the Arduino into the box and connected the power cable. It's nice that I can power the Arduino using the USB power supply. The cords to the lights need to be connected into the 120 volt side of the solid state relay. And then you need to connect the communication cables to the Arduino. I connected the two relay channels to pin seven and eight of the digital outputs. If you look at the wiring diagram for the current sensors, you'll see that the wires are just spliced, which is what I did in real life. After you connect the power to the sensors and screw them in place, you can connect the communication cables to the Arduino. A splice in each USB cable is used to send power through each current sensor. It flows through the current sensor and back to the cable. Both of the wires for both of the cables need to be connected to the sensors. The last bit of wiring is to connect the connections between the power cord and the cords leading to the light as well as to the USB box. Before we go ahead and use the system, we need some code made in the Arduino software to tell it what to do. This is kind of complicated, so if you go over to my Instructables page, I'll explain everything there in more detail. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can comment down below. 
Uh, as always, I have new things coming up. I'm going to show you projects around the house, so like my book, light switch, or new projects that I'm doing. For any of these projects, if you head over to my Instagram account, it's just at McJosher, you'll see little snippets of when these videos are coming out or previews of what I'm coming up with. Uh, so you can check that out, you can follow me there, and I will see you guys next time. That's it.